everyone, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be doing my first book subscription box unboxing because the lovely people over at Book Box Club asked me if I wanted to do this and I very happily said yes because I see a lot of their work on Twitter and Instagram and it's always something I've been interested in but I've not been won over by the idea of a subscription box yet so I figured this would be quite an interesting thing to do and I am very excited. <laughs> oh, we have a visitor. He's made his reappearance. <laughs> Pause. Come here. Good boy. <laughs> so this is the August box, which I believe has the theme of Tech Tribes. And yeah, let's just open it up. I've already undone the bottom of it, so just to make things easier but when you first open it it looks like this this envelope says open me last so that is what I shall do and then we have a thing saying tech drives and it has everything on the back so I'm not going to read that I'm just going to dive straight in and there's a lot of um, <laughs> Paper that I'm hoping won't go all over my carpet. I may need to hoover after this. <laughs> um, I don't quite know what to do with all this. Do you want some paper, Roz? Do you want some paper? <laughs> Enjoy. So Oscar can play with that. <laughs> oh no, Oscar, you don't eat it. Okay, this is going so well so far. But this is what we have when you get rid of all the paper bits and the first thing I see is, oh, falling out of my hand. It's Star Wars related. I think this is a bookmark, but it just has a tiny little, if it wants to focus, there we go. Tiny little BB-8 saying beep boop. And this was created by Rachel Norline exclusively for Book Box Club. So, I'm gonna open this up. This is a magnetic bookmark, so it's got the magnets inside. So you just hook it over your page, and that is your bookmark. Oscar is really loving the paper things. <laughs> I will just mention as well, I'm not a huge fan of sci fi, so this box would be a bit hit and miss for me whether I get the references or not. But, there have been a fair few sci-fi books which I did end up loving, so I'm hoping that the book that comes with this is one of those books. We shall see. <laughs> Next up we have a coaster which I think is a reference to the Lunar Chronicles because it says broken isn't the same as unfixable and Marissa Meyer. I'm going to have to get it to focus on this every single time. But yeah, coasters are always helpful. <laughs> Next up we have a necklace which says Jinx, a feline Baku for the unashamedly bookish. That is really cute. I think we all know by now how much I love cats, so that is adorable. <laughs> we have what I think is a sticker which says Girls Can Code. I don't know what this is a reference from, but it looks hella cool and I don't know what I'm going to stick it on. But I will find something because I really love the design of that. <laughs> we have some socks. They are adorable. Oh my god. Let me have a look. These are from Joe Cool and they are so cute. Look at the design on them. Oh, you can't go wrong with a good pair of socks and my hands and feet are always freezing so these will come in handy. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> we have a mug. I love mugs, so this is exciting. Oh, the book's tipping up. Okay, so this, oh my God, this is so cute. I don't know what it's a reference from, so I will find out, but this mug 
is just a tiny illustration with a girl and a black cat and there's an aeroplane flying over them saying we build the future. I adore this, this is so cute. So that's the girl and the cat with the we build the future part. Oh my god, I absolutely adore this. And I'm constantly drinking tea, so... This might just be my favourite thing in this box. We have a blue theme going on. <laughs> I'm not picking up that paper again because it's going everywhere. I thought this was the book but it's not, it's a sampler. This is a exclusive chapter sampler of Colour Me In by Lydia Ruffles. The thing at the top says what if we got lost together and yeah I've never heard of this before but I am super intrigued. It says on the back the catcher in the rye meets turtles all the way down in the breathtaking new novel from the author of The Taste of the Blue Light. Arlo is lost. He's tired of the acting job that made him famous and familiar black weeds are crawling in his mind. When tragedy... <laughs> I can never say that word. When tragedy strikes, he runs from everything he knows 5,000 miles to the other side of the world, armed with only a sketchbook full of maps. There he meets fellow traveller Mizuki and finds himself increasingly drawn to her. But what is Mizuki searching for and is it truly possible for Arlo to outrun his pain? That sounds intriguing. I've never, like, had a sampler of a book before so this is quite exciting. <laughs> we also have some random things in the bottom so this is bookmark for Jinxed which is the book that the necklace came from I presume. We have another bookmark which is this one and it also has a map on the back and then we also have an extract from Holly Bones newest book All We All Lemons and Snowflakes. I love Holly Bones and my normal yet series so I might actually have a look at this because I've not heard what this book is about, so I've not really been paying much attention. Oh, and it opens up into a poster saying kindness is contagious. Well, that's cute. There's a letter from Holly Bourne on the back as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we get to the book, which it's wrapped up so cutely and I just want to take photos of it but I'm also too excited to do that. I want to open it so that's what I'm going to do. Let's do the little unwrapping and that already failed because oh no it hasn't. Doing well. Let's hide the string from Oscar. No! <laughs> Oscar's seen the string. <laughs> <laughs> so we can safely say that this box provides not only for readers but also for cats. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> oh dear. This is what I've got to do for many hours now. Just hold the string. <laughs> You're gonna go play with it down there. Anyway, back to unwrapping this thing. I can tell you they wrap a lot more neatly than I do because I'm really bad at wrapping gifts and things. Even if they're rectangular. You'd think by now I'd be used to it because I literally buy every one book. But no. Let's see if I can... I don't want to come out that way. I'm trying to pull it out so that... Hey. So this book... Oh, it's the one that the necklace is from. It is Jinxed by Amy McCulloch? McCulloch? McCulloch. I'm gonna go with that one. Amy McCulloch, the author of The Potion Diaries. I used to want to read that when I was younger. I never got around to it, but I did want to read it. So the synopsis of this just says, Tired of your phone? Looking for the perfect companion? Then back up your life with the newest, cutest, must-have accessory. Our Bacchus are state-of-the-art robotic animals that function as a smartphone, but make the perfect pet too. Visit your nearest Monka store to upgrade your life today. 
Lacey Chu has big dreams of working for Monka, the tech firm behind the Baku phenomenon, but first she needs to get into the exclusive Perfectus Academy and there's no way she can afford to do that. Then Lacey meets Jinx. Jinx opens up a world that Lacey never knew existed, including entry to the hollowed halls of Perfectus. But what is he really? His abilities far surpass those of any other Baku. He seems to be so much more than just a robotic pet. He seems real. Well, that sounds really quite intriguing. Animals and technology do not match up well in my head, so I'm quite intrigued about this book. It's not too long either, so it should be quite a quick read. And yeah, oh, it's signed as well. I didn't know that. Nice. <laughs> so this is the book where the necklace with the metal cat comes from. I get it now. And there's a cat on the cover. Are you going to be my Baku? Is this how this works? So I will just read the back of this just to give you all the information on the products. So inside this there is the Clubhouse Invite, which is a sort of book club, so when you order this you are given access to this online book club of a sort, so that you can all talk about the book. And the author will also be joining that, so that is what I'm guessing is inside this. Let's have a little look. Yes, yeah, so it's got all the information on here saying when you'll get the email, and then just a little note saying that they hope I enjoy this. So the artwork on this mug is by Alicia Durr. The coaster is a reference from the Lunar Chronicles, which I did mention before because I have read that series and I did really love it. The robot socks, like I said, were from Joe Cool. I will put his Facebook here. So this sticker that I really liked was, if it wants to focus on it, come on. This sticker that I really liked is Ada Lovelace, Ada Lovelace, I don't know how you say her name, but that is who this is a drawing of, illustration of. Let me get it to focus again, there we go. And this is created by Victorian Store, who are on Redbubble. The BB-8 Magnetic Bookmark is by Rachel Norline Art. Instead of putting everything on the screen, I will just leave links to everything that's on here down in the description box so that you can go and check it out yourself. So all in all, I think this box is really quite good, considering... <clears throat> I can't remember what the price of it would be as of right now because, like I said, I was sent this box which was incredible and I'm very grateful. But I will put the price of what this would normally be per month on the screen right now. But considering <laughs> Oscar's still playing with all these little blue paper things. <laughs> but considering you get a book out of it which is usually eight or nine pound, there's two extracts from other books three different bookmarks, a sticker, a necklace, and socks, and a coaster. I think that's really good because that is a lot of the different kinds of merch that you could have in a book box covered. Like, there's a bit of everything and there's a mix of really popular references like the Lunar Chronicles and then new things which I've not heard of before but we'll definitely be looking into. But I do mainly like this one just because of the art. Oh, I forgot the mug as well. There we go. <laughs> But it's things like this, for instance. I really like the artwork on this, so I will now go and look at what else they do and possibly buy more. And it's just a good way of discovering different creators, I think. So, yeah, I really like this. My dad's not going to be impressed that I've got another mug, though, because I do have a lot of them. But this is the perfect size, so I don't care. <laughs> but even when it comes to packaging and stuff, you saw me take out lots of different paper padding and pop how many different lengths of bubble wrap. It's all, it all came in one piece and that's a lot considering there was a mug in there and it would have been thrown around in all sorts of places. So I am really impressed by this and we'll be checking out future boxes because I imagine when it's something like fantasy, which is my favourite genre, it'd probably be really exciting seeing what sort of things they come up with when it's a genre that you probably will get a lot of the references from. So yeah. But that is the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing my first unboxing, so it was really exciting. I'd love to know if you get any book subscription boxes or if you've even tried this one, if you got the August one yourself. But that's all I've got for today, so I hope you had a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!